committed to supporting the all-round de development of the newly formed Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and the Union territory of Ladakh. Accordingly, an amount of 30,757 crore has been provided for the financial year 2020-21. An amount of 5,958 crore has been provided for the Union Territory of Ladakh. So that was one hand which is governance. Now I come to the other which is the financial sector. If governance was described as one of the pair of the hands holding the bouquet consisting of aspirational India, economic development and caring India, the other is the financial sector. A key, clean, reliable, robust financial sector is critical to the economy. A clean, reliable and robust financial sector is critical to the economy. In our efforts to achieve the US $5 trillion economy, the financial architecture should evolve the financial architecture should keep evolving and move from strength to strength. We had earlier approved consolidation of 10 banks into four. In the last few years, the government of India has infused about 3,50,000 crores by way of capital into public sector banks for both regulatory and growth purposes. Governance reforms would be carried out in these banks so that they become more competitive. A few among them will be encouraged to approach capital market to raise additional capital. So I wish to inform this August House that robust mechanism is in place to monitor the health of all scheduled commercial banks and that depositors' money is absolutely safe. I wish to underline this point, sir, that this August should know, this August House should know, that robust mechanism is in place to monitor the health of all scheduled commercial banks and that depositors' money is absolutely safe.